the research that I do at A&M is pretty multidisciplinary and we try to work on new problems all the time. And uh, I think coming out here with my sons and seeing the challenges of them learning to hit and the challenges of learning to coach or, or coaching them uh, to learn to hit, realized kind of how much physics was happening out here. I mean, you always hear about the physics of baseball. And I think especially learning that Matt and Kenny were, you know, former Aggie players, it just seems so natural to see if we could build a connection between former players that were coaching a sport and engineers that might be able to develop a solution for some of the questions they were trying to answer. My class year was 2012. I uh, played baseball here at A&M from 2010 to, through 2012. We opened up in 2020. I've been here for about two years before we started this project and I kind of noticed some areas that we can maybe make a little more efficient um, within training so you don't actually need a coach to be there. If, say you have a cage on your own, it could tell you it's a good or a bad swing without technically a coach having to be there. And so the idea in here was could we put more sensors in more places to help the coaches understand the performance of the batters from a numbers perspective. You know, hitting is all about reps. It's, it's a lot of swings, a lot of hits, a lot of contact go into a session. And so could we give people feedback really, really quickly? And Matt had the idea, if we could just give you red light, green light, yellow light, and you could get that muscle memory um, developed faster by just getting more reps with quicker feedback. Yeah, so I played baseball all the way up through high school. Um, I played until they told me that I wasn't good enough to play anymore. So I had to go to my backup route and uh, do mechanical engineering at Texas A&M. Um, not the worst, not the worst backup route. I'm the only, I'm the only person in our group that ever played baseball before, and so it kind of worked out that I was the only one who could realistically take swings and make it have any that were good versus bad. In the outdoor space, um, this H3 and, and the lab do a lot of work with uh, hosting games for scouts to come watch. Um, they do really neat games where they pull youth from all over the city to come play each other. Could you host those events more effectively if we use some technology to, to basically, without contention, call balls and strikes, right? Which is always one of the toughest parts of baseball is uh, um, agreeing or disagreeing with the ump. So could we take that out of the game for the purposes of focusing on the kids. Being able to come down to this facility and see how everything works uh, and have a chance to work with uh, both Matt Jungle and everybody else was a huge opportunity for me. Yeah, I think the main way that it's uh, readied me for, for my profession is my ability to, to problem solve. That's by far my favorite thing to do uh, for engineering. That's why I became an engineering is uh, because I love solving problems. So there's no greater feeling for me than that. Obviously, I'm super excited about it just because I know a and Engineering Department, you're getting a top tier level engineering department in all of the United States. And it's in my backyard. I felt like it was a no brainer to partner with him and use him to kind of build this area out. And he, he seems super excited about it and beneficial. And I feel like I'm hopefully bringing a piece to the, the, the university that I graduated from, so it kind of gives me pride in that as well.